Okay, I had a request for a bone rigging tutorial, so I thought I'd get that online for you. First of all, I just want to show you a basic character broken apart into these pieces. I wouldn't recommend that you make a character or lay him out in this way, but this is just to show you how to put the bones in. Once you get the basic pieces created, we'll move on from there. So this is what I use right here. Uh, and they're pretty versatile. I can swing a, an arm around and then just change the fist or the hand to uh, make it go in a different direction. As you can see, I've got my character all put together. Now you can start this way if you want. You can lay all the body parts right where they're supposed to go and then insert the bones where you think you want them. Uh, and then what you're going to do is bind your bone layer, your skin pieces to the bone layers. So once you've created your bones, then you come over here, you click on each individual body part, like the, uh, the hand switch layer that I have. I would click on that, and then I would um, click this to bind that layer to the bone, and then I would come over here and click the bone. When the bone highlights red, then you're showing that you have bound this layer to the bone. So from now on, when I move, I'm just going to grab this tool. When I move the bone, the hand layer moves with the bone. It's that easy. So again, you come over here, you grab your whatever layer you want to grab. Then you click your bind layer to bone. I'm going to bind all the hair to this one head bone. And then from then on, the hair will always move with the head bone. All right, real quick, I'm going to create a character from scratch just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, I've created the first layer, named it head. Now, I'll create a head. Come over here, create a new vector layer. We'll name it eyes. Uh, one eye, two eyes. Change the color to white. Okay. Paint, paint, paint. And we'll create a new vector layer. We'll call it body uh, and we'll change the color to uh, room paint paint we'll grab it and move it over a little bit uh, now we don't want the body in front of the head so we'll move that back to here and we'll create a bone layer for our character and we want to put each of these other pieces in the bone layer all right now we grab the bone layer and we're going to add a bone this will be our main control bone and then after that we want one for the head uh, and now we want to bind let's see i'll show you real quick if we grab this everything will stretch and wiggle we don't want that we want the things to maintain their original shape so we're going to grab a layer, the eyes. Now we're going to grab the bind to bone tool. We're going to click on this bone to bind the eyes to here. Now the same with the head, bind to here and it lights up red when it's done. And the body will bind to there. Now, oops, we can come over to our bone layer. We can actually turn down all of these by clicking on it and scroll over to the left. Um, and now when we manipulate our bones, they maintain their shape. And you'll notice the eyes move with the bone, the head moves with the bone, and then everything moves with this since this is the most parent bone. All right, I hope this helped everybody.